Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today I'm going to show you a little technique. If you have to put a join in your border fabric, you can actually make a feature of this join. So I'm going to show you what I mean. On this quilt behind me, you can see that I've got two little fillets in four places and that's where I've had to join the fabric. So rather than having a join that doesn't look very pretty, I thought I would make a feature of them. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So it works if you need more than one width of fabric for a border, so any size quilt that would be, or if you've just got some odd pieces and you haven't quite got enough. So the first thing you're going to need is your contrast colour. So I'm using the peach and you would cut this into a one inch strip and then you would fold it in half with the wrong sides together, so i.e. you've got the right side, and then I'm going to make the same as the quilt behind me. You lay your little piece of fillet onto your fabric and machine that on. So I'm just gonna go over to the machine and show you what I mean. So I'm going to line my piece of colored fabric up. And what I'm gonna do is just make my life easier and I'm just going to snip that off. So I haven't got quite so much of it. And then you can see I've just got a little bit, it is a little bit bigger than the piece I'm attaching it to. But then you can always just trim that off afterwards. I'd always have rather have too much than not enough to play with. So I'm just putting it on with a very scant seam just to hold it in place. So probably about an eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to put another piece, the other side. So you can see here that the fold is going towards the center and I'm going to do the same with this other piece. I'm going to put the fold to the center. And again, I'm just going to come down using a really thin seam. I need it thinner because that's going to get hidden into the seam. So that's why it's a scan eighth. So now I'm just going to cut these off level. You could do this with a rotary cutter, but I'm just cutting it level because it's such a small piece. And then I'm going to put this in between two other pieces of fabric to make the border. So the next piece I'm putting over the top, I'm going to use a quarter of an inch seam and that way where I've basted it to the other piece isn't going to, be, isn't going to show in the seam. So you can see there that it's sandwiched in there and I'm just going to do the other side I'm going to go back to the other camera and lay it out on the table so you can see what it looks like. So there you can see that you've got your two fillets and I've made this piece of fabric. Let's just trim up some of those end bits of thread so it looks a bit neater. And you can see that I've extended this piece of fabric. So you can either press them so they both go the same way, or you can press them so one, they both go into the center. 
And the trick with this is when you come to put your border on, the, on your quilt, you want your little feature to be slightly offset. So we'll just go to the other quilt and I'll show you what I mean. So now you can see that we've got our border on the quilt with our little fillets here. And the thing to do is to offset them. So don't have them in the dead center of the quilt, i.e. 12 o'clock, six o'clock, and then nine o'clock, three o'clock, because it's not as pleasing to the eye. It's much better to have them slightly offset. So this isn't completely random. I have measured the distance from the edge of the quilt to the first one and the same there, but they are all offset rather than in the center. And probably what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use the same color for my binding. So I'm just going to show you another example where I've put a fillet into the joins in a different color quilt and it's also a different size fillet. So this is another example of how you can put a fillet into your join and I've used the red that's in the binding and the fillet. And this I've cut bigger. So the first one I showed you, I cut my fillet at an inch. This one I've cut at an inch and a half just because it's a bigger quilt. And I've only done one fillet in each of the joins. And as you can see, I've offset it again. So it's not dead in the center. It, it's offset to the side, but again, it's measured. So it's random, but measured. So I'll leave that with you. As always, have fun, give it a go for yourself and I look forward to seeing you next time here in the sewing studio.